There's something special about standing in the sun on a cool morning and feeling that radiation. Well, right now I'm feeling the radiation from this masonry heater and it feels pretty nice because it's only about 10 degrees outside. My name is Steve Bushway. I'm from Deer Hill Masonry and I want to show you a little bit about masonry heaters today. This is the first one I built uh, in our house when we built it. I wanted to see if uh, it performed as I had read they would and uh, we've, we've enjoyed it for, for the past 18 years. We do our cooking, a lot of our cooking in it and we enjoy sitting by the heated bench when we come in from outside in the cold. The masonry heater is essentially a core uh, of fire brick and precast refractory elements and a masonry shell to store that heat outside. In this case it's brick. It can also be stone or tile or stucco. So this is the um, kitchen and entryway side of the heater and as you can see we have an oven. The gases right now are going through this oven. The other feature that's really great about this heater is the, the heated bench. We can come right in here from outside. Um, the back of the heater is warm, the bench is warm. Combustion is allowed to happen um, at temperatures high enough so that combustion is, is relatively complete. There's no unburned uh, hydrocarbons. People often see the fire burning and look up and expect to see a chimney and they, they see another st structure uh, two feet away and that's where the smoke is going. Uh, but in order to get there it has to circulate through the inside of the masonry heater and during that time it's constantly imparting heat to this mass. A masonry heater is, is very much like a battery. It's something that you're you're charging up with the fire and and then that storage is re-radiating back into the house after the fire's out. The chimney can be on either side of the heater, against the heater, or as it is here separated for to uh, provide uh, an integral wood storage area. The hearth can be raised as it is here can also be flush with the floor if the traffic pattern in the house requires that. We always try for a central location though, that's, that's important. It's also important the, the building be well insulated um, and easy to heat. When the, when the walls are well insulated and the windows aren't drafty, the temperature difference between standing next to the heater and standing 20 feet away are much less than if the same heater was in a drafty old house. Some air is heated by the by the bricks as well and travels upstairs and heats the bedrooms. Typically there's no more than a two or three degree temperature difference between the first floor and the upstairs. There are different air systems and different heaters, some that have slots at the bottom of the door, some have interior channels that bring air into the door frame, but generally we want to have about two-thirds of the air enter the fire from the side of the firebox or the front and one-third coming up from below. Underneath th this heater there's a concrete block foundation that's sitting on a footing and uh, it's roughly the same size as the body of this heater and comes up to about six inches below the first floor where a pad is poured on top of the uh, foundation and then onto a form that can brings uh, the concrete out and cantilevers out over the foundation to support the hearth on this side and the heated bench on the other side the chimney on this heater is, is over here as you can see. It's possible to vent a masonry heater out the top with a, with a metal chimney 
right? in which case you've got uh, channels that go down and then go up again and exit the heater at the top. This um, keeps the cost of building a masonry chimney down and um, decreases the footprint area that the heater takes up. Masonry heaters can look very different on the outside. They can have different passageways, uh, different configurations of passageways on the inside. The chimney can be in a different location relative to the masonry heater. The owner might call it uh, a cockalofen or a grundofen or a cockaloon. Uh, those are all names of, of masonry heaters from their native countries. Uh, all work on the same principle of a quick hot fire and a large battery of mass to store that heat. In addition to the black oven that this masonry heater has, some masonry heaters have indirectly fired or white ovens where the flue gases don't actually pass through the oven but circulate around it. They're a good warming oven um, and baking oven. Uh, the black oven is a good pizza oven because it does get so hot. But, e but they both work well.